Now I want to be so bright <laughs> in New York City. You want to be bright as ever now. Hey guys, hey guys. So I'm headed to the spa. Take care of yourself, friends. Go to the spa at least once a month, friends. Take care of yourself. But here's what I didn't learn in school, right? That we all probably didn't learn in school that's essential to us living a better life and just financially, okay? Guys, we never learned how to balance a checkbook. We didn't learn that in school. See, these are the things we need to know, right? We need to know how to balance a checkbook, right? So we can know what we're working with, so we can know where we're going, so we can know what we need to do, right? We also, friends, didn't learn about compounded interest or interest period, right? And compounded interest is the eighth wonder of the world. He who understands it, earns it. He who doesn't, pays it, okay? So we didn't learn about compounded interest, friends. And I guarantee if we would have learned that in junior high, most people would be further ahead than they are now because they would have understood that instead of getting and going into credit card debt, they could have did something else better. Guys, we never learned how to raise capital, right? We never learned how to raise capital, right? We never learned how to raise capital for business venture. Right, and then now, <clears throat> just why the banks, you know, oh, you take out a loan for your business, and the bank got all these high ass fucking interest rates, right? But we never learned how to raise capital, friends. She balancing a checkbook, understanding compounded interest, okay. Also, raising, uh, you know, capital, right? These are essential things, friends, that we needed to know, right? Understanding investing, right? So instead of, you know, just working check to check, we actually put money up, right? Our, our own, we put our own money up, right? In an investment vehicle that brings us in passive monthly residual income. <clears throat> now, of course, we can learn this stuff now, but if we were to learn this stuff in school, friends, we all would be further ahead. Investing so that you can have passive income, friends, is what leads us to financial independence. I have passive investment vehicles now at 34, but if I would have knew this at 14, you know, I could have a couple of million dollars right now. So, <clears throat> School, friends, really didn't do us any justice. Our parents, friends, didn't do us any justice because our parents learned from schools, we learned from schools, and we didn't know anything, okay? Those are the essential things, guys. Investing our money, right? Making money, keeping it, and investing it. Balancing the checkbook, understanding what compounded uh, you know, interest is, and learning how to raise capital, friends. Right? Then we wouldn't need the banks to get a freaking loan because the banks is nothing but highway robbery. Right? So we should have learned all these things, friends, right? We should have been starting a business at the age 14. We should have been thinking of business ventures and business ideas and things that we're passionate about. Also, too, we didn't learn in school how to be passionate about something. Or what are we passionate about that's going to help us go and grow to the next level? We didn't learn this stuff, friends. All school taught us was to come to school on time every day. Don't make any mistakes. Make friends, right? And listen to the adult figures in the school. And then graduate. And now go look for a job to go now listen to adult figures. Now just to do a job just to now get paid. So what real skill set, friends, did we actually learn in school? We didn't learn any real skill set, friends. We didn't. We didn't learn any skills. Right. We didn't learn any skills that's going to help us from now and in the future. 
right? So this is why school friends will eventually be obsolete. College for sure. People are going to stop going to college because college don't make any sense. It doesn't make sense to pay a hundred grand <clears throat> for nothing. But like Warren Buffett said, you could learn all this shit on YouTube. He said you could. He said you could learn all this shit on YouTube. <laughs> he said he said I would he said I wouldn't I wouldn't encourage people to go to college anymore. He said because you could learn all this stuff right on YouTube, friends. College will be obsolete because it's not teaching people what they need to know in order to achieve goals, okay? To invest, okay? And to basically get what they need, guys. Look at the look at look at how doctors now the technology is transforming doctors now, right? You can literally text your doctor now. My daughter, you know, we I text her doctor, right? You can text the doctor and say, "Hey, doc, well, this is what's going on with me. This is what's going on. Uh, you know, uh, you know, I'm having these kind of headaches or whatever. Okay, send me a picture. Show me what you're dealing with. Show me what you're scar. Okay, go get this." <clears throat> That's it, right? So, you know, we didn't learn essential skills, friends. And even when you go to college, friends, you still don't go and learn essential skills in college. College just puts you in massive amounts of debt, which American government wants us and needs us to be in massive debt so they can continue to bank and get rich off of their people. Ain't that crazy? So we didn't learn the skill set, friends, to get ahead. That's why so many people are not ahead in life. Because we never learned how to get ahead. Okay, friends? All we knew, okay, was to go listen to our teacher, do our homework, and, uh, you know, hopefully we could, could get a good grade, and we can't make mistakes, and we couldn't really ask too many questions when we took a test. It's crazy, guys. It's designed to fail, right? And this is why so many people are failing, friends. This is why we got to take matters in our own hand, understand how to balance our own checkbook, understand how to invest our own money, okay? Understand how to raise our own capital, okay? <laughs> All right? We need to understand how to have business ideas and start business ventures because school doesn't work, friends. If we allow our children to do the same thing that we learned in school and never teach them nothing different, the cycle will continue. Who breaks the cycle, friends? It starts with us. So for me, I'm teaching my children about business. I'm teaching my children about the cash flow quadrant. I'm teaching my children about investments. I'm teaching my children that money is supposed to work for you. I'm teaching my children about interest and compounded interest. So when my kids are 30 years old, they are financially way ahead of me. My children, okay? They are way financially ahead of me. And that should be your goal too, friends. You want your children to be way financially ahead of you, right? Because that's breaking the cycle. And then now your grandkids are financially ahead of you. Your great-grandkids are financially ahead of you. And this is what we're talking about, building legacy, right? Building wealth in the family. It starts with you. You show your children. Your children carry the torch and show the next generation. The next generation says, but somebody got to break the cycle. If everybody just goes get a job and that's all they do and hope, pray, and wish, then guess what? The cycle never breaks. So we got to take responsibility. That's why I always tell people, invest in yourself. Invest every month. Get with mentors. Start you a business. Get courses. Get books. Get CDs. Get audios. Invest in yourself. Because your job is not. Your school is not. Okay? The government is not. So who gives a fuck about your future? You are the only one that can give a fuck about your future no one else friends okay so these are the things we didn't learn in school that we needed to know friends in order to get ahead and succeed you know i was talking to my husband i said it don't make sense for somebody to make a hundred grand and then you still don't have no money 
how you make a hundred thousand the government take no you made a hundred and thirty thousand the government takes forty you got you know ninety left over and then you know after the end of the year comes you ain't saved nothing you didn't keep any it doesn't make sense friends but we didn't learn that. That's so why I told my husband, I said, we didn't learn how to save or invest or multiply our money. All we learned was how to spend our money. So 98% of Americans just spend their money and no one ever keeps nothing. Right? So I told my husband, we're breaking the cycle. Right? After every year, we should have at least 20% of what we made saved somewhere or invested somewhere. Right, you know, I'm waking my husband up too. I ain't gonna be the only one woke. I ain't gonna be the only one teaching my children about um, in finances and investing. I'm not gonna be the only one, right? It's, it's me and my husband collectively breaking the cycle. So guys, these are the things we didn't learn in school. So it's our duty, it's our responsibility to teach our children these things that school don't teach you and it's a essential to our well-being our financial future but we got to start and we got to start now friends okay so those are things we didn't learn in school so make sure you learn them now whether you got to spend a lot of money to do it whether you got to spend a lot of money to do it you do you spend the money you do it and now you teach your children to do it as well okay this is how we start to break the cycle it's all about the knowledge that we have and the knowledge that we apply in our lives very simple friends very 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 simple my April class is starting um, I'm, people register for it now um, get registered for it it's 97 bucks it's 30 days we meet uh, four times um, I'm talking about different ways you can change your mindset helping you to change your mindset understanding why you need to change your mindset that you so that you can go and build something for your last name Join TanishaMarie.com, guys. See you soon.